good morning everybody wow i really appreciate the presence of all the stalwarts my teacher professor sharma sir and colleagues dr pancholia and all of you guys good morning everybody thank you bharat and banshi and everybody from the diabetes india team and of course team usv who are the prime sponsors of or the educational partners for this talk right dr navni cha sir has beautifully alluded to the use of drugs especially when there are the situations are challenging i am going to take it little further you know and i am going to focus on sulfonylureas and bharadwaj sir your session was outstanding i must say that it was a big learning for me as well uh let me ask you guys how many of you still believe that the kind of a beating or a whipping or a sort of an early, ugly duckling treatment that sulfonylureas are getting are they really um, group of the drugs whether they really deserve that show me a show me hands and still say that no i don't want to use sulfonylureas i can still manage my diabetic patients without sulfonylureas any one of you so team usv your job is done right so understand that is what sulfonylureas are it's been nearly 80 years since the invention way back in 1942 when marcel jabon who was treating the patients of typhoid with the sulfonamide antibiotic under investigation drugs for the first time reported that the patients are developing hypoglycemia and the same was repeatedly seen in the animal industry when the animals were treated by using the sulfonamide group of the drugs and that's how the whole story started and it took almost like 4 years of research and in 1946 we got our first sulfonylurea that is called as carbutide but since then you know these drugs have played a pivotal role but then why this name green swan druvi why suddenly these become a green swan production and this credit to the usv because you know during the inauguration our health minister as well dr jitendra singh talked about this amrut kal and we talked about the green energy glimipiride which has been manufactured by usv is completely a green plant and green project probably the gel give the details and that is the reason why the title and india is going green and especially in this amrut kal we are going green and that's the reason why the title of the story <clears throat> but this is what the reality is that sulfonylureas are challenged challenged in advertently and especially with the new invention of the newer drugs we started challenging them more and more but then indians should feel proud that we held on to our principles i still remember you know multiple global forums right from dr mohan's conference to diabetes india to rssdi national forums there used to be debates on you know whether the sulfonylurea should be thrown out because sulfonylurea suddenly in last decade or so they have become villains villains of management but then you know and and the angels were the newer group of the drugs like dpp4 inhibitors was a beautiful angel and then came carolina where you have what a so called villain and there is a so called angel and the aim of the study was that that let us have a final nail in the coffin of sulfonylureas and that's why all of us those who have attended that ada session if you remember sharma sir you know it was like bridge sir you would be there also right so and if you realize that you know probably the whole aim is to you know put in that final nail in the coffin of sulfonylureas and what happened bang the whole story changed and then people they started saying that yes this is a resurgence of sulfonylurea was it a resurgence come on now yeah you can't be so mean to sulfonylurea group of the drugs it is just the sure validation of what these drugs are able to which have been time tested product and especially when the diabetics they grow ill in you know in the age of the diabetes grows up like somebody is 5 years 10 years diabetes we all are believe you know believe me you all are sure that sulfonylureas are the pivotal drugs of the challenge so this is the story of sulfonylurea where actually the first challenge was through the udgp study and the drug was tolbutamide i still remember sharma sir must be must have used bridge sir also must have used restinon you must have used sir in your practice i still remember my 
teachers talking about resting on. Uh, such a wonderful short acting sulfonyl urea that we had. Now, if you really look at the sulfonamide as a or sulfonyl urea as a molecule, it has got three parts. Number one is a sulfonyl group. Number two is a urea group. And number three is that benzamide group, which actually plays a role as far as the receptor specificity is concerned. Torbidamide, which was blamed to have a worsening of the cardiovascular toxicity and mortality, did not have that benzamide group. And we all know how this UDGP was planned. And then came the plethora of all these inventions, right from Carolina to JED recently came. And that's how probably the GRADE study talked about. Unfortunately, GRADE never had a, you know, HGLT2 inhibitors in their study. But if you look at the number of papers which are published on the PubMed platform, you just type sulfonylurea. Look at this. This is a screenshot of what I did on the PubMed. Nearly 26,000 publications over a period of time. So, easily the second best published literature in Indian pharmacopoeia after insulin. And metformin is the best one currently. But remember that sulfonylurea research started much earlier than metformin. Metformin research kicked off only after UKPDS. When US people have started accepting that yes, metformin can be a drug of choice. Otherwise, according to US people, metformin was also a useless drug. That's how the whole story started and if you really see the insulin, the most studied molecule after that, the second best studied molecule, which is a true secret of GOG. And how many of you are aware that when sulfonylureas were invented for the first time, they were not in, you know, introduced to market as the secret of GOGs. They were introduced in the market as sensitizers. So that is the place where sulfonylureas, but now still I have to talk about this whole evidence that recent evidence of especially these modern sulfonyl ureas like glimipiride or glycolazide modified release have a phenomenal evidence that we have not only in the classic young patients those who have diabetes but the patients with combination of insulin therapy in the patients those who are also with the complications or the established cardiovascular disease and most importantly with the low dose therapy they have all found out that the modern sulfonyl ureas are beautifully effective. I was lucky to be a part of this one of the important papers where for the first time we used the terminology of modern sulfonyl urea thanks to Dr. Sanjay Kalra and team and I was a part of this uh, you know entire uh, I, I would say a session and I will tell you that that time for the first time we used the terminology of modern sulfonyl ureas which has become now a global terminology. And modern sulfonyl ureas are the newer second and third generation sulfonyl ureas that we have. So, they were definitely different than the conventional sulfonyl ureas that we had. Conventional sulfonyl ureas had their definitely a challenge of hypoglycemia primarily. But remember that sulfonyl ureas are a potent weapon. Suppose I hand over a, 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 a very sharp knife to a very, very skilled surgeon, he will do a phenomenal job. But if you hand that you know, knife to me, who is untrained, I might kill people. So it's not the problem of the knife. It is the problem of the person who is behind that knife. So it is the same thing with sulfonylurea that we need to understand. So look at the typical green swan, green effect of sulfonylureas. As they have turned out to be the guiding light. Then the modern sulfonylurea are still the basic pivotal structure, drugs, which are important in management of diabetes. They act with the incredible speed. Start sulfonylurea, next day your sugars are starting down. And over across all the continuums of type 2 diabetes. And the modern sulfonylureas are even renally safe. And with an established trust of millions of prescriptions every year. They are affordable, they are efficacious, they are available. And they have been written by the people. Not only that, they give you adequate flexibility of combination with any glucose lowering therapy. And not only that, they work with a beautiful elegance. I will tell you that this was Stephen Kulagiri, IDF talk. And we were there sitting in the hall, Richard, if you remember, where there was a debate whether sulfonylurea should be there or not. And he is the vice president of IDF. And what he said that does this group of the drugs really deserve this? 
typically ugly duckling treatment but i must say that yes it is an ugly duckling because nobody has realized that it is a swan that is what is the most important thing and remember as far as the popularity of this drug in the indian subcontinent or the asian subcontinent is concerned or the southeast asian countries are concerned they are one of the highest prescribed medications in this and as far as talking about the cardiovascular safety i don't want to say anything after carolin right but then we have got great study tosca it one of the path breaking studies amazing data that they have come out with and you will realize that it started with advance and advance on it went to adopt and then slowly progressed to jed and that's how we have got a plethora of evidence of the cardiovascular safety of these drugs and you need to understand that all the sulfonylureas which have been blamed for this typical ischemic preconditioning remember that they are receptor reactivity dependent and all those drugs those who do not have that benzamide group will not react to the cardiac receptors of the uh, kr type of the uh, sulfonylurea receptor kr 6.2 receptors which are responsible for that stopping of the ischemic preconditioning the sulfonylurea group of the drugs which do not have that benzamide will not affect and they will be very specific to the beta cells and they will not react to the even uh, vascular smooth muscle receptors now cardiovascular safety i don't have to talk to you about i have already spoken to you there are multiple pleiotropic benefits of sulfonylureas multiple pleiotropic benefits right and they exhibit beautiful benefits through this they have been established to you know increase the adiponectin levels so you don't have to be really worried about the cardiovascular safety is concerned and remember that they are the global prescription drugs which are easily available with an absolute no doubt in the minds of the people that yes they still there and dr mohan has looked at the guidelines national guidelines and the global guidelines seven global guidelines he looked at and where sulfonylurea stand and 22 national regional guidelines that he looked at and all the guidelines have never banned sulfonylurea do you know any country which has banned sulfonylurea if they are so bad drugs do you know any of the countries those who have banned sulfonylurea nobody none of the countries have banned sulfonylurea so modern sulfonylurea are the wonderful i would say gift to the diabetes management people for not only their safety their effectivity but also their ability to get along with all the other glucose lowering therapies always remember that what makes you to think twice is the proof of the eating the proof of the pudding is eating isn't it and i could really see in my start of the session only that sulfonylureas are wonderfully prescribed drugs and now we have got adequate evidence to prove that even modern sulfonylureas are also the drug of choice in the monogenic diabetes and various forms of monogenic diabetes because of the want of time i'll not be going into details about that but most of the guidelines still stick to recommendation of sulfonylureas that is very very important so finally friends my magnificent swanky 7 of sulfonylurea prescriptions for you with their swiping experience sufficient availability sublime affordability supreme effectivity your safety splendid acceptability and surpassingly reached research i think sulfonylurea still stands strong as a pillar as far as the parts of the glucose lowering therapies that we have because we should never ever forget that 80% of the people in this world those who have diabetes stay in the lower economic or the lower socio economic situation or a middle socio economic situation we need to understand that we need drugs which are effective which are affordable which are available which are acceptable which are easy to use with minimum adverse events from the modern sulfonylureas especially as far as the indian class of diabetic patients are concerned are one of the phenomenal choices i thank you very much for all your attention i would be happy 
to answer any questions if I have not confused you adequately. Thank you very much.